We continue to bring you in-depth coverage on a circus accident, a horrifying fall that injured several performance, uh, performers, that is, at the Dunkin' Donut Center. We've been on top of this story since the beginning, and tonight the circus is leaving town early following this shocking accident. And I went to reporter Jared Planner is actually live at the circus's train in Pawtucket. Uh, Jared, tell us what's going on there. Steve Shannon, hello there. Well, behind me are at least 30 silver train cars. By our own count, I'm going to move out of the shot now so that Steve can push in and give you all a better look. All with red and white Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey lettering on the side, just as far as the eye can see, right off I-95 South in Pawtucket. The hard to see from the highway, mostly hidden by some box cars. These 30 plus circus cars appear to be mostly passenger in nature, standard size with curtains in the windows. Earlier, Eyewitness News captured video of some circus elephants behind the Dunkin' Donut Center, some campers there as well. Equipment being moved out. And transit police tell us, in fact, the train, uh, the animals will link up with this train further down the line. And a circus spokesman says, yes, in fact, most of the performers and animals travel from city to city by train. So, Jared, we've been saying throughout our newscast that the next stop for uh, these performers is Hartford, Connecticut. Can you explain to us more about what they're going to be doing in those shows? Because it will obviously be different. It, it, they sure will, Shannon. That's right. Well, the venue, first and foremost, is the XL Center, right in the center of Hartford. Eight performances lined up between Thursday and Sunday, but circus officials tell us, as Susan Campbell reported at the top of the newscast, that now infamous hair hang act will not be part of the program, that all other aerial acts will undergo a thorough safety review beforehand. 